This is gonna get me in trouble. Literally, as soon as I publish this, there's gonna be a lot of, a lot of heat coming my way, but I can't just publish boring, mediocre content. I have to publish the content that people need to hear. A couple months ago, this man came to me upset about his results. He'd been swimming in the blood red waters of the manosphere, swearing by the teachings of guys like Tate, Cooper, and Tomasi. And you see, to the untrained eye, it looked like the job had been done. The guy was in good shape, he had a six pack, bench pressing like he was training for Mr. Olympia, his bank account was fatter than ever, his high status career was enjoyable, his weekends a blur of exclusive parties teeming with attractive women. He was a successful man complete with fun hobbies like jujitsu, rock climbing, and guitar. But there was a gaping hole in his seemingly perfect life, the sweet intimate companionship of a high quality woman. He was racking up conquests hitting the town with his friend, sure, but the meaningful connections escaped him. He couldn't find anyone worthy of himself, and if he did, they often left him after a few months. His bed was cold most nights, his victories fleeting and unfulfilling. He always thought, maybe I just need to be better, and then she's gonna notice. Why is all this happening? The man had drowned himself in a sea of chasing excellence, success, status, and power, but was starved of emotional depth and connection and awareness. His difficult journey to personal triumph had conditioned him to mute his emotions for the sake of overcoming adversity, unintentionally blocking his ability to form a strong emotional connection with women beyond just pleasure. This left him unprepared to hold the attention of a high quality woman beyond just a few dates, much less grow a relationship. Sure, he was good looking and got attention from women, but he was empty inside and quality women would figure him out after a few weeks or months and leave him. He was like a well-crafted sculpture with no soul, visually appealing yet devoid of substance that quality women crave in the long term. While he posted photos and stories of success and fun activities that garnered high like counts and followers on social media, most nights he was actually surfing on OnlyFans, porn, and was even on sugar dating sites to get his needs met. No, not needs for pleasure, but connection and intimacy. Is this a shocker? Not in the least. I've seen it time and time again. He's far from the only high performing man in this boat. Many high performing and established men that I've worked with all swallowed by the same misconception that professional success somehow translates into romantic success with the types of women they desire in the long term. And with all that money, they end up spending it on vices to get their needs met behind closed doors, which only mask their problems. Of course, they don't post that vice driven content on social media, only what you want to see, the social signals of success that we all like to see. It's like they think money and status will have women falling at their feet, then when it doesn't happen, they get pulled into the dark side of vices, instant gratification, and pleasure seeking for years. It's a damn delusion and a one-way ticket to a life of relationship and sexual frustration that can last for years and leave them vulnerable to actually settling with the wrong type of a woman, a low quality woman, just to get some level of his needs met and to fit in with society. But he'll never be happy and may continue the vices in secrecy with this new partner that barely meets his needs. The fallacy of transferable skills. In my line of work, I'm faced daily with this flawed thinking, this utter blindness to the law of specific skill. Just because you're killing it in one area of life, career or fitness, it doesn't mean you're going to be a rock star in another. Your awesome sales skills won't help you be a five-star chef. Your mastery of scuba diving won't improve your salsa on the dance floor. Yet these men assume their careers, fitness, and increasing income and fast cars and nice homes will morph them into a high-value lover. They cling to this mistaken belief like a lifeline, thinking their bank account and fitness can offset their mediocre or non-existent emotional intelligence skills with women and ability to form strong, intimate connections and understand what women want at their core. You see, being a lover is a skill, and like any skill, it must be learned. Seeking excellence, missing love, why some men can't connect. And when that approach bombs, they blame women. And if you search online, you'll find a lot of male influencers who have also been hurt by women and will help you with this line of thinking and support it. They'll argue that women are heartless gold diggers who just want to use men. They'll whine and moan, painting themselves as victims of wild, low value women, all while radiating the same toxic energy that they're complaining about. 
Instead of stepping up and honing their skills as lovers in relationships with women, which is a skill, they wallow in self-pity with a similar sinking feeling that they had when they first started their journey of chasing excellence. It's crucial for men to grasp a fundamental truth. Having an F in relationship skills will lead to relationship failure, plain and simple. It doesn't matter if you have an A-plus in your career or an A-plus in fitness or A-plus in your social network. These are entirely separate skills that don't automatically translate into successful romantic relationships with high quality women. These men often complain on social media about their plight as if it's something to be proud of. They're quick to call out all the perceived injustices happening all around them in society against men, yet offering no solution or path forward for men in how to actually get the result today. Often these men attract others who share their pain, forming a community that revels in negative discussions about women, feminism, society, and relationships. They place so much faith in the words of men that they've chosen to respect based off superficial exterior means, those who have more money, they're fitter, they have flashier cars, assuming they must be speaking the truth since they want and value those shiny materialistic objects too. Unfortunately, this cycle is nothing short of absurd and they find themselves trapped in a vicious cycle that further keeps them isolated, lonely, and unloved. Consider this perspective. Just like we see groups of men griping about the state of the world, blaming their failing businesses, their employees, debts, taxes, the economic conditions, would you want to trust your life savings with a group of men that that's all that they do? Clearly not. So why follow the advice of these men's influencers and communities when it comes to relationships, love, romance, especially those who haven't even maintained a long-term relationship with a high-quality woman? I have yet to see that from anyone in that community or any of those influencers. If they don't have the result, I usually don't think they have it figured out. That seems to be common sense, right? These men seem oblivious to a critical question. Do they possess the necessary relationship skills and understand what women truly desire at their core for the long haul? If they were faced with this question, their faces would likely reveal bewilderment and surprise. After all, it would only make sense that their lack of success in intimate relationships might be due to their deficiency in relationship skills. Instead of investing time in endless complaints online, they could channel their efforts into developing the right relationship skills and achieving the desired outcome. Instead of masking their lack of skills as a lover by making more money and getting more fit and posting materialistic superficial things on social media to increase their like and follower count. Mistaking the door for the destination, the fallacy of surface level attraction. A high quality woman is not a prize you win for being rich or having six pack abs. Yes, you'll get her attention, but she's not gonna be emotionally connected to you because of your network of high status friends and your fast car if you lack the relationship skills to have a strong emotional connection to her. How does she feel about you without your external things? What these men's influencers are missing is that professional success is just a piece of the puzzle. Sure, it might get your foot in the door with a woman, but it's not going to build connection, intimacy, let alone make a relationship thrive. Instead of investing in their love lives, improving their emotional intelligence and communication skills and becoming more seductive partners, they're stuck on a hamster wheel of chasing success, just making the door shinier. But once a woman walks in, it's empty, it's hollow, it's lacking. So she turns around and runs back out every time. But here's the kicker. Attraction skills and relationship skills are two very different beasts. It's like a flashy restaurant. The branding might draw you in, but if the food sucks, you're not coming back. That's it, end of story. But serve up a mind-blowing meal in a corner joint and you'll have them waiting in a line a block along. What's inside matters more than what is on the outside. That's why you'll often see just modestly successful guys with knockout women, the real high quality women. Because what these men have are relationship skills and they make her feel safe and connected, seen, heard, and they satisfy her in bed. And 
that's when you're gonna receive that loyal, kind, supportive partner that many men have really been hoping for. If you've ever been confused why a woman went for a guy that seems of lesser status, physical looks, and success, then, well, now you know why. You can't see what she feels for that man. But, God forbid, she doesn't get what she needs, she'll raise hell until you step up as a man and as a leader. The manosphere is blind to this truth. It's not that women are these wild, dramatic monsters out to get men and take advantage of them. It's that many men are weak and they're not showing up as the grounded man, which makes her feel unsafe. And any person who feels unsafe makes a scene and acts very irrationally, whether you're a man or a woman. Here's the interesting part. Improving in your communication, lover, and relationship skills doesn't take a whole lot of effort, and you don't have to be perfect either. More so, aware and progressing as a lover is enough to communicate how much you care and your willingness to show up in this way is what is going to count. You'll see a huge improvement with minimal effort and time, which is far less exhausting than the endless grind for excellence, hoping that quality women will finally notice you, which inevitably does little to your love life after just a few months. Guys are literally trying to have seven, eight, nine, ten figure net worths before they feel that they're worthy of a high quality woman. This is ridiculous. The whole idea of chasing excellence just gone way too far. How about we pay attention to the actual skill that the woman is going to connect to for the long term. If more of the self-proclaimed experts focused on teaching men to lead from a place of connection, intimacy, and emotional awareness and intelligence to build more safety and trust, the whole struggle to find a high quality woman would end. And they would finally be offering men a real solution to the problem that they came to them for that they could actually work on and progress on. But instead, they listen to those with more quote unquote success than them and they're caught in a vortex of chasing more excellence when more money or a bigger bank account or bigger social network won't directly enhance your skills as a lover to maintain a high quality relationship. It's like running a business with top-notch sales and marketing, but a product that can't deliver. Instead of fixing the product, they're just throwing more money into marketing, which actually just burns the business to the ground before soon no one wants the product. It's time they realize that their money and status serve to only spark an initial interest, like the beautiful packaging of a smartphone, but it's what you offer beyond that, your emotional connection and depth and the substance of the man, how you make her feel at an emotional level that is going to sustain a long-term relationship. Does the actual product work and over deliver? Chasing excellence is good for yourself, but know what it does and know what it doesn't do. Because for many men who've been on the chasing excellence train consistently for five or more years, you can keep doing what you've been doing. It's now your default. But now I want you to start focusing on upgrading your lover and relationship skills if you want to have a successful relationship. It would only make sense that if we improve in these skills, that we would then have a more successful relationship. Because without the substance to back up your achievements as a man, all you'll be left with is a damaged ego, loneliness, and the life of regret equals more pain and more suffering. All things that we're trying to avoid. If you're just managing to scrape by, or if running one mile leaves you gasping for air, then I get it. Yes, you need to focus on improving your financial situation and fitness first as a priority. But if you're comfortably covering your lifestyle, possessing a good enough income, and you know that you're going to continue to grow, and you have a decent physique, and you have a basic workout routine down, you already embody the prerequisites to allure a high quality woman if you improve in your skills as a lover. The invisible Achilles heel of high status men. Guys, you really need to consider this. I've seen men strive for success for years and they've amassed real wealth, all right? Clients, peers, friends, people in the community, yet they're still single, chronically single. Money and looks does not equal high quality partner. Guys who make more than a million a month and they own beachside mansions, houses scattered globally across the world, sports cars that cost more than most people's homes. And despite their wealth and success eclipsing the highest echelons of all of these male influencers online telling men to chase excellence forever, they still grapple to date 
the women of their choice often settling for less out of scarcity and fear and just don't want to be alone and want to fit in with society. High status men from all walks of life, entrepreneurs, celebrities, musicians, despite having everything a man could ever dream of, they fail to sustain long term relationships. If material wealth and success held the secret to a fulfilling relationship, wouldn't these individuals have figured it all out and be living their dream life? Their damaged ego blinds them to the fact that the key to a high quality relationship lies not in wealth and status, but in fostering relationship skills. What's funny to me is you'll see these male influencers flaunt a new girl every month and they find these women through sugar baby websites. Mm -hmm. And so they know that this whole chasing excellence thing and just chasing money and stuff doesn't actually lead to a high quality relationship. So they have to buy it and they have to have a superficial short term fling every month in order to maintain an image that they know what they're talking about. This just reflects their inability to sustain a relationship beyond a few weeks or months. The wildest part is I've just never heard any of these other men's influencers say anything about building a strong emotional connection, anything about intimacy, anything about how to make better love to your partner and be a better lover and be a romantic man to the woman that you claim to love. Nothing about trust and safety and building strong bonds and how to handle the ebb and flow of the feminine. None of that. And in fact, it's all just make more money and get fit and just sort of be this like arrogant guy with a big ego hiding behind a mask that is covered in insecurities. And this whole ignorance about connection, intimacy, romance, trust, safety, seduction, and emotional depth is all too apparent for these men. And they're leading thousands, if not millions of men now down this path that is full of pain and insecurity and isolation. The very thing they're trying to escape is the very path they're going to go down, except yes, they will have designer clothes and a sports car and they might look better, but we got to develop lover and relationship skills. And when these men fail to do so, the default response is always just chase more excellence because it looks cool and it's hard to argue against doing so when you're on social media looking more successful and you're getting more likes. It feels good. You're getting more attention. But again, we're not trying to build shiny doors. We're trying to build an amazing foundation of a home. And those fitness and money and these flashy things, it's just like having a nice stucco and wood paneling on a house. What does it look like inside the house? And is it a place that you and a high quality partner would want to live in? And you can even look at the richest men in the world if you want more proof that more money and success doesn't actually lead to a high quality relationship. You can look at Bezos, you can look at Musk, you can look at Gates. They've lost hundreds of millions of dollars in their divorces, if not billions. And men who've even won the sexiest men alive vote from women, Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt and Cruz, they've all experienced divorces too. I'd like to hear what these male influencers would have to say was their level of excellence not enough? Should they have been more successful or stronger in the gym? Should they have been doing more squats? Or like, should they have had a faster car? Like, what would these men's influencers suggest to the men who are the richest men in all of human history and the sexiest men alive who are also rich voted by women? How would chasing excellence help those men? Perhaps they needed relationship skills and lover skills that would allow them to make those relationships work because obviously more money at the highest levels of all of humanity was still not enough. Please grasp this message for I can save you years, decades of your life going down a path that is not going to achieve the love life that I know many men are hoping for at the end of this journey. It's intriguing to observe how their soaring levels of ego and success and fame might have fueled a sense of entitlement. This mindset seems to have led them to believe that they don't need to improve as a lover or in their relationship skills and that they should inherently deserve it and that they are entitled to it based solely on their professional achievements and social fame and respect. Often more professional success equals entitlement, which equals a lack of effort into improving as a lover, which equals 
relationship failure. The pattern is undeniable. A man accumulating power, wealth, and status without honing the relationship skills. It's like your insurance for all your success is headed for an inevitable disaster. I can guarantee that if you are a successful man and you do not work on lover skills, relationship skills, and you ignore this and you just are all in on entitlement because you're successful and you're good looking and all these other women want you at first, you have their attention on the surface, but do they want to be with you for the long haul? right without those skills it's it's guaranteed and the crazy part for men that they fail to grasp and what society is not acknowledging is that it is ingrained in the very fabric of our male dna to procreate to spread the seed that is why there are eight billion humans and to ultimately derive pleasure out of this experience with that in mind a man with a lack of relationship skills is destined to face an eventual downfall in his life. And we've seen this happen across the celebrities, famous politicians, famous businessmen, athletes, people that are killing it in success, in excellence, failure to truly get a hold of their sexual energies and not having the love life that they want. It drives them down a dark path. Male power lack of love life with a high quality woman and then you introduce his own dna and biology is driving him to procreate to driving him to seek pleasure through other women you can see that this is a disaster and it's happening all around us and so for men who are successful and and they're watching this and or they plan to become a man of success you must learn these skills as a lover your own dna is going against you and it's just a matter of time before you have this cataclysmic downfall in your life his dna is going to get the best of him and he slips and makes mistakes and his reputation can be forever damaged rethinking the high value man's path to love and fulfillment this is not about ditching your pursuit of power and success Hell no. You want to be a top tier, high performing man, a force to be reckoned with. Good. That's not just admirable. It's essential for every man. And I get it. I'm not telling you at all to not be successful. And I can already tell the comments are going to blast me, but let's just cut through the BS here. Your pursuits aren't a magic bullet to romantic success. Your professional and fitness growth won't automatically bestow upon you the skills to hold down and grow and cultivate a high quality relationship with an amazing partner. It's not some mystical cure-all for your love life. You're out here thinking that by slaying the dragons of success, you'll suddenly morph into this irresistible woman charmer. That's just all fantasy. It's not how it works. It's a completely different skill set. In chasing your ambitions, it becomes necessary to turn off your emotions to deal with the whole chaos of becoming successful, of not quitting, of overcoming adversity in the face of insurmountable amounts of fear and you end up becoming this stoic, stone-faced, emotionally void man, often in the pursuit of success. And do you think that that journey is going to help you connect with women on a deeper level when that is the very thing that separates you from every other man out there, let alone every other successful man out there? Successful men often forget that there's a successful man just down the street who has more money than you and will do more than you for the same girl that you have. Success and external measures and shiny doors are not what you should lead with. That's not going to be what holds down the relationship so what happens is many men become this high achieving very logical often very boring success driven highly motivated workaholic great okay but don't think for a second that that's the golden ticket to a deeper emotional connection with a high quality woman that's a completely separate skill that you must hone in on. Once you've got your life together, women want more than your wallet or your materialistic displays of status. More success and status, external materialism is going to do very little for you, especially if she's disconnected from you. It's about cultivating an atmosphere of passion and intimacy and emotional security. That is what is going to build the bedrock of a meaningful long-term relationship. You want to be the best version of yourself. So sharpen those emotional, intimate, sexual, and relational skills. 
and don't you dare lose sight of your personal journey toward your full potential. You can grow professionally and craft your body into an amazing sculpture in the gym and build an impressive network of very high status men in your life while you nurture your relationship skills. Just add this in like it's another journey because you're already on so many other journeys, but this is the one journey that if you forget, it's gonna cause massive amounts of pain and isolation and ego damage, and it's gonna set you back years, and the divorce could take away everything that you worked so hard to build in the first place, so I think you should pay attention here. If you are a truly high-level guy, then you would accept this challenge and not view it as like, I'm just trying to throw more on your plate. In fact, this is the one that would give you the most joy and happiness and pleasure, and fulfillment and if you're single the future mother of your children i think it's a great win-win to have a high quality partner and a high quality relationship i think we should go in that direction versus just look cool on social media and just have cool flashy things to show off not complain about having to do more because the pain of breakups and divorces and having a lackluster relationship or just being lonely and living a sexless life or sexless marriage is actually a lot more painful than just showing up a little bit as a lover. This is just about embracing the journey to balance your pursuit of success with grounded masculinity. No more chasing ghosts, no more settling for a life of regret. You can't be a high value man if you can only sleep with low value women that suggests that you are also low value. And if you're addicted to vices and adult content to satisfy needs until you find somebody that excites you, that's low value. And that's what many of these men's influencers out there actually are because they're only with low value women. And if you were truly high value, you would have high value women in your life and they would want to be in your life. Putting on a mask and looking cool to attract a bunch of women or pay for women through sugar dating, I think that suggests that you do not have lover skills, relationship skills to then maintain relationships for the long term. So here's the kicker. These skills are inherited at birth. They're learned. That means it just requires you to invest energy, seek guidance from those who have the actual result, just like you would in any other skill. It's time to grab life by the horns and go after what truly matters and what makes for an unreal life where you aren't just looking good on social media externally, but you feel alive, loved, and worthy on the inside in real life. That should be the goal. So here's an invitation for change. It's time for a wake up call for many men. As much as you may not like this, I get it. If this hits you where it hurts, if you're sick and tired of settling for lower than you're capable of or having a non-existent love or sex life, I've got something for you. If you want your romantic relationships to match your level of professional achievements and finally feel like you're getting what you deserve, not just in the boardroom, but in the bedroom, then I've put together a training that's as real as it gets. It's the same system that's helped thousands of men already, just like you, morph into a stronger, more grounded version of themselves. It's really all about crafting your ideal relationship while absolutely crushing it in other aspects of your life. So click the link below to access the training that I prepared for you or head on over to knowledgeformen.com slash CX, knowledgeformen.com slash CX to get instant access. And remember this, being a high performing man isn't just about how many zeros you've got in your bank account. It's not about chasing some elusive end goal. You know that those just keep on going forever and then life ends. It's about owning the journey of your life and truly living in alignment to your values and vision. It's about becoming the kind of man who says F no to a life of regret and settling and chasing other men who have shiny materialistic lives and F yes to reaching your full potential that is defined by your values and vision authentically. That's when you're truly a high value man. You're living life on your terms. So click the link below to head on over to knowledgeformen.com slash CX to get instant access to all this that I'm talking about, to take this whole thing to a whole nother level. And if this has resonated with you, if you're sitting there thinking, damn, this was a wake up call I didn't think I was gonna get today, then don't be selfish, don't be shy, okay? Just smash that like button so hard that YouTube is like, hey, whoa, what kind of content is this? Let's check this out. Maybe we should promote more of this type of content to this person so that we can actually provide real value, okay? I spent a lot of time putting this together you know, the quality, the production, all this. I'm trying to put a message out there that really makes an impact on men and helps them live 
more happy, fulfilling, successful lives full of romance and love and the type of pleasure that they'd like to have from the type of women that they'd want. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'm working on some serious game-changing content that's going to redefine your concept of men, masculinity, success, women, relationships. So no one else is going this deep. You don't want to miss it. Stay tuned, guys. See y'all 